we shouldn't oversell the potential of tax reform to improve the economy. <laughs> I think there's a widespread belief, especially on the Republican side, but also on the Democratic side, that, uh, that we can really jumpstart growth and really get the economy out of its doldrums through uh, the right kind of tax reform. And uh, I, I think that's very unlikely. First, I think uh, the nature of our economy's problems are not really amenable to tax solutions right at this particular moment in time. And I think the best that a good tax reform can do is increase the long-term trend rate of growth, which is not which is worth doing, but is not going to get you a lot of headlines. And, uh, and thirdly, the, uh, the, the analyses that I have read of the Tax Reform Act of 86 show that it had a, a very modest impact on, on the macro economy. And uh, I relied uh, very heavily on an article that appeared in the Journal of Economic Literature in, I believe, 1997 by Joel Slemrod and Alan Auerbach, who went very carefully through the, all the literature and they found, well, maybe there was a little bit of an, uh, an increase in labor supply by secondary workers. That was about it in terms of uh, the supply side of the economy. Now, there were lots of behavioral, accounting, and financial effects. People moved up capital gains, realizations, and uh, things of that sort. And there's been, a, 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 apparently, a permanent change in the nature of business organizations. Uh, the number of C corporations uh, peaked, I think, in 86 or 87 and has been declining pretty steadily ever since. And you've had a huge increase in pass-through uh, entities. Now, that sort of thing is very important for the IRS, and it may have some impact on, for example, the measured rate of inequality. But those are <coughs> not real economic effects. They don't reduce the unemployment rate. They don't increase median family income, things of that sort, at least not in real terms. So I, I, I think we need to be very modest, or at least the professionals who deal with this stuff, we can't control what the politicians do. But I think we need to be you know, circumspect in what we can anticipate.